Hey everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA, and I have an important message just for you. We're on what, uh, one of our projects here, we have a landscape construction company in located in Redondo Beach. We're actually in Manhattan Beach right now, and here's one of the issues that uh, people who live in Los Angeles and the surrounding areas are facing. Actually, it's a Southern California problem. Actually, Northern California, <laughs> the region, we're having an epic drought, worst drought in the history of the United States and it's going on right now uh, we were expecting an El Nino this winter the weather forecasters tell us that that has fizzled out so we're bearing down because it looks like we're going to right into the thick of the storm so to speak of, of drought well one of the interesting things is that people still have their needs if you have kids or if you have dogs it people are we're still getting requests for for grass and so here's the thing grass I'm going to say this once, grass is not the evil child it's uh, being set out to be. The uh, city of Los Angeles is even paying homeowners $3 a square foot to take out lawn and put in native plants. Well, what the message it's sending is that grass is bad. A lot of landscape designers are saying grass is evil and it's wicked and don't, don't do it. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you have if you have proper irrigation, if, if irrigation efficiency, you can cut water use of grass down by 60%. Now I'm not saying go if, if you have an acre of land, fill 90% of it with grass. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying grass, some grass is not bad. In fact, it's a good thing. And so, at, at, yeah, Enviroscape LA, what we found out was that if you use the Rainbird Copper Shield technology, drip irrigation tubing has a little strip of copper every 12 inches, that you can actually have. Uh, your cake and eat it too because you don't need herbicide to blow through the drip irrigation line it, it's it, in fact it, I would call it the only sustainable drip irrigation on the market I wanted to take make this video just to show you what it looks like uh, we have a machine over here let's follow me here we have a machine right here you can see that machine right there it's a it, what it does is it actually makes a trench about three inches deep and we run it down uh, the line then we go about 12 inches over and we run it down another line. So we do the whole thing. We just went ahead and redid this. I made a lot of YouTube videos in the past uh, that shows us actually doing the process. The problem is it's a really loud machine, so it was hard for me to talk. But anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, what this, what we're doing here. Now the line, we dug the trenches. The lines are in, and then uh, we're going to connect all the the, uh, uh, the pipe. It looks like Legos, so to speak. And we're going to have a, a underground watering. And so the neat thing about this is that when it waters, you don't know it. You, I mean, you can't see it, which means it eliminates runoff. Imagine over here, they, act, they actually had sprinklers that would go up, and they'd either spray the sidewalk or they'd spray the street. Very inefficient way of watering. It was the only way we had to water up before sprinklers. 50, 60 years ago, people used to come out and hand water. That wasn't really efficient. Got sprinklers, and, and sprinklers did a pretty good job, but you're still always going to have uh, overhead spray. So now, the drip irrigation will eliminate that. It actually bleeds through. Uh, this is a particular type of, of, of drip we use. It actually has a little hole every 12 inches, and it bleeds through, and the capillary actually, actually pulls it through the soil, so everything gets watered fabulous product we, we can do it with plants uh, ornamental plants we can do it with grass lawns we can do it with vegetable gardens fabulous product and come over here and I'm going to show you a little more about the system we've got we've got this done this morning and this afternoon we're going to go ahead and work on this area right here you can see this we've opened up the, the area but we don't have the lines in yet um, we've amended the soil and we have grass coming tomorrow actually. Uh, the planter beds over there that you see against the wall, those actually have the drift that we installed yesterday. A question that comes up uh, in people's minds is, well if you put grass here and let's say in three or four months I want to fertilize the grass, well can I just throw pellets out there? The answer is no. Do not throw pell pellets out here unless you want to be watering for hours by hand or with your hose. Uh, what we did was we installed something called a fertigation system. Uh, it's a tank that goes under the ground. We installed this yesterday. There's a white tank there. We fill that up with liquid fertilizer and then uh, we screw the top back on and then every time it waters it gets a little bit of fertilizer. 
A question that comes up is how do you keep debris out of the drip irrigation lines, these tiny little holes that the city water always has a little tiny bit of debris. Well, these are called drip irrigation valves, Rainbird, made by Rainbird, and you can see here we've got, oh, it's clean obviously, we haven't, we've only used it a, a few minutes, but, but yeah, that little thing right there, that's a drip irrigation filter. Um, I need to also say something about the valves that we use. Uh, depending on how much volume you have, uh, you might want to use the low flow valve made by Rainbird. Uh, what happens is a regular sprinkler valve will actually, it needs high pressure to shut off all the way. And if you don't use the right valve, it won't shut off. <laughs> so, and so I've seen some jobs where uh, landscapers will put a regular a valve in and then it won't shut off. And then I get the phone call because the uh, landscaper doesn't answer. It's like, hey, could you help us? Our sprinklers, on, our drip irrigation has been on for a day or two. That's a big waste of water. So you got to use the proper valve. You use the proper valve, use the proper um, uh, drip irrigation filter, if you use the fertigation, and you use the proper drip irrigation, it's like four tires in the car. You miss one tire and you're not going to be driving. So anyway, Mike from Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.